Good afternoon and welcome to Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Juneau, Alaska for noonday prayers. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, Lord make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 54. Let us say this in unison. Save me, O God, by your name. In your might, defend my cause. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For the arrogant have risen up against me, and the ruthless have sought my life. Those who have no regard for God. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who sustains my life. Render evil to those who spy on me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will offer you a free will sacrifice and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have rescued me from every trouble, and my eye has seen the ruin of my foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Hebrews. And every priest stands day after day at his service, offering again and again the same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sin, he sat down at the right hand of God and since then has been waiting until his enemies would make a footstool for his feet. For by a single offering he has perfected for all those, all time those who are sanctified. And the Holy Spirit also testifies to us after, for after saying, this is the covenant that I will make with them and after those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts and I will write them upon their minds. He also adds, I will remember their sins and their lawlessness, the lawless deeds in no more. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer any offering for sin. Therefore, my friends, since we have confidence in to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he has opened for us through the curtain that is his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from the evil in consciousness from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is faithful, and let, the, let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet, to, meet together as a, is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O oh. oh God of grace and mercy, give your blessing to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all that we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and brothers, the brothers and sisters of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. I invite your own intercessions and prayers at this time. Pray for Robin Hitchcock for healing from his surgery. And give his diabetes under control. Pray for all those who are suffering from diabetes of all kinds. They may be advances in treatment. They may learn weeks to control their tribulation. Who has We pray for healing for Fred Stevens in Maryland, for concerns of Jonathan, Ari, Molly, the Gilbert family, Mark, Cindy, Kate, and Barbara, and for the departed, Bobby Gilbert. Pray for Mark as he enjoys a good rest and a restorative time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. Today the church remembers Thomas Aquinas, a priest and a theologian. Almighty God, who has enriched your church with the single, singular learning and holiness of your servant Thomas Aquinas, enlighten us more and more, we pray, by the disciplined thinking and teaching of Christian scholars, and deepen our devotion by the example of, the, of saintly lives through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May God's love be the love that surrounds us today. 
May God's peace be to the peace that we share on our way. May God's grace be the grace that we that our actions display. And may God's truth be the truth in the words that we say. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. May Christ our Savior give us peace. Amen. Amen.